Hello everyone, my name is Thiago, I work at AlgaWorks and today I'm going to talk with Chatai, the founder of PrimeFace. Uh, I'm in Brazil, Chatai is in Turkey. Hi Chatai, how are you? Hello, hello everyone. Thank you Chatai for accepting uh, one more time my invitation for this interview to update the Brazilian community about PrimeFace. So let's start. Maybe there are some people that uh, still don't know what is PrimeFace. Could you give a brief introduction of what it is? Sure. Uh, Prime Faces is um, a JSF component library. Uh, JSF is the standard web framework for Java E, and uh, the standard components it has uh, are not really uh, suitable to create rich internet applications. So we have created Prime Faces to provide to fill the gap. We have around uh, 100 components from data tables, and tabs, accordions, charts, anything you need to create a rich application. Um, Prime Faces is uh, right now the most popular library for to create JSF applications. Uh, no one uses JSF without Prime Faces, I guess, these days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. And we know Prime Faces is free and open source. And your company, Prime Tech, is behind the technology, right? Yes. So, how do your, does your company uh, make money to support this technology? Do you have any other products, commercial um, products? Yeah, right now our main product is Prime Faces. It's fully open source. Uh, we have this program called Elite, Prime Faces Elite. Uh, when we do a fix uh, or change, we include it in the Elite release called, they are point to point releases, like 6.2, 6.0, or 6.1, 5.0. The, the, these major versions are free, open source under Apache license, like 5, 4, 5.1. But point to point releases like 5.1 point something or 6.0 point something are not open source. They are called elite releases and they're only available to elite users. But the nice thing is that when we do a change, uh, do a fix, or after, let's say, releasing Prime Faces 6, uh, assume Prime Faces 6.0.1 is out. We do the change both on the Elite release, also on the GitHub for the 6.1. So you can get it if you build the Prime Faces from source, uh, but if you just want some pre-built, highly tested library, you can just go with Elite. Also, we have the pro support where you can get an answer from us in uh, eight business hours. Um, this is mostly what the uh, corporates prefer. They want someone uh, uh, to, to where they can ask questions. Uh, th that's one thing. We also implement feature requests based on the user's requests. Uh, also, we have these premium templates and themes uh, where we provide a whole application template uh, with nice premium themes. So they are also, uh, we also sell them on at our prime store so the core product is free but if you need support or nice layouts nice things uh, there also offers the pro commercial offers for them as well okay so if you don't want to create a, uh, a layout by yourself you can buy uh, a, lay a layout and theme yeah from the creator of prime Day, so yeah yeah uh, i mean um, there are also other layouts for example if you check out other websites you they give you templates and themes. But the nice thing about our templates is that they are tested uh, against prime faces. We also provide a theme. If you get a layout from somewhere else, you have to make a lot of changes uh, to make sure they look well with prime faces. You have to also need to change prime faces components. But with uh, prime faces templates, you also get a theme for prime faces and highly tested. So, um, the, uh, the creators of Prime Faces implement these themes and layouts, so it's the, it's the, it's the nice bonus. Yeah, very nice. Uh, a lot of students asked me to, to ask you, so yeah. I'll do it. Uh, do you have any plans to create a free community uh, template? Yeah. I'm not sure we want to, but uh, that's, we also, this is our business model as well, but we also want to create a free one. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe in the future, that's something we need to talk about. Uh, maybe we can create a free one, but uh, with some less features, or maybe just simpler version. Uh, but uh, there, there's a P layout in PrimeFace as well, but it's kind of a bit old-fashioned compared to the current set. 
but we are we, that's we are consider, considering that, but it's not uh, definite definite uh, decision right now. But maybe in the future. We at Alga Works we create a very simple layout for our students that would like to to create a very simple system and start uh, from the scratch, but with a layout and don't don't have the money to invest. But I recommend if you. If you are working in a commercial software in a in a company, I recommend to buy this layout because it, it will be a very good investment in yeah, your yeah. time. You don't have to do it. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. I mean right now, if you need a layout right now, you can go to a design agency and the, it will be very expensive if you go to an agency and you have to they have to know prime faces, they have to create all the themes and things like that. But right now, uh, our themes and templates, you can just get them for an affordable, reasonable price. And they are created by professional designers and implemented by professional front-end developers. So, and they are much more uh, cheaper, much more, uh, they, they are cheaper than what you will get uh, with a design agency. Yes. And the nice thing is investing in a layout, uh, you have all these benefits and you are still supporting the, the job, yeah. the great job of Primeface yeah. that is open source. So it's a business model, yeah. I understand, totally understand. Okay. And what are your plans for the next releases of Primeface? Uh, right now, for example, today we have added a nice feature called table state. For example, you open a data table, you do sort and filter and do pagination, select some records. If you go back to some other page and then come back, the, your manipulations are lost right now so when you say multi view state true on a data table they are kept so you can go to some other page and then come back and you will find the data table as you left it so it's a very nice feature it's, it's, it has been asked many times but by the users that's one thing uh, we have added uh, three state checkbox also organigram component where you can display an organization chart that's also available uh, also, right now, we are working on new spreadsheet component where you can find Excel-like Excel, Excel -like features on the web. For example, uh, create cells, merge them, display data, formulas. That's also one of the big ticket features. And we have added three table paginator. So we have some ideas and also reviewing the ideas from the community and adding features. Uh, but the, the big ticket features are uh, spreadsheet. Uh, organigram, three state checkbox, and table state for 6.1, which is due um, mid uh, maybe to February uh, right now, which is the current plan, uh, 2017. Okay, very nice features. And in my opinion, JSF is a, is a very nice technology and it's still very popular, in my opinion, because of prime phase. Yeah. Uh, as you said in, in the beginning, it's very difficult to find a project nowadays in JSF without PrimeFace. JSF is a, a base technology and yeah. PrimeFace uh, uh, exactly. provide a lot of components, features, okay. But uh, nowadays there are a lot of client-side uh, technologies that work uh, uh, with components as well. For example, Angular and React. And I would like to know what do you think do you think this new client-side technologies will replace JSF in the near future? There are a lot of going on in the modern web framework space. There are probably every day it feels like we have a new JavaScript framework. Sometimes you start doing something and the next week it becomes outdated. Um, right, right now, I mean, the popular ones like uh, Angular 1, 2, React, Vue, um, knockout, Backbone, Batman, Amber, I can just go on and go on. Polymer, if you like web components and stuff. Um, I mean, there's no again silver bullet. It, it depends on the application type. For example, JSF is, is, does its job very best on, very good on uh, corporate environments where the applications are behind the firewall inside internet network. Uh, where you can rap need to rapidly create the application with hundreds of pages uh, without dealing with JavaScript and CSS mostly. It, it, it is a very, very nice framework. But, uh, for example, uh, it has its downsides as well. For example, it's not very suitable for offline support. So, But if you don't care about offline, then JSF is a good choice. 
I mean, it has uh, this roots um, of server-side rendering. It renders the stuff on server-side and sends, sends them to the client. Whereas the client-side frameworks like Angular, React, they do their job at the client-side, but they have support for server-side rendering. Um, you know, it depends on what type of... Um, so what I'm trying to say is that even those client-side frameworks need to do some server-side rendering, which is the... Uh, which Im improves the performance on page load and provides search um, support as well from the search engine support optimization. So, um, well, it depends. For example, we are also interested in, for example, Angular 2. We have another product called Prime NG, uh, which is the same stuff for Angular 2. But um, sometimes we also in, in our team discuss, I mean, is Prime Faces the better one? Is Prime NG the better one? Should we do a prime React? I mean, things like that. But right now, if they were too good to replace prime faces or JSF, they would have done it already. This is 2016 we are talking about. JSF was born in 2003 or four, and prime face was born in 2009. Angular was born in 2000, early 2010. React as well. Uh, but when we see the download numbers, the for forums and adoption. Um, we don't see a lot of increase in the number of users, but no amount of decrease as well. So there are still lovers and users of JSF and Prime Faces, and they're not going actually anywhere. Once you like this programming model, it's hard to go back and start something client side. But if you are used to the client side first, maybe the new developers, the younger developers, they might prefer the client side technologies when they, they maybe they don't like the server side of Wave Framework. So it depends on the, you know, your what you like, but there's one thing certain: the the adoption and the, the popularity of prime faces is still there. It's not going anywhere, and the number of downloads is still high. Uh, we we daily uh, monitor the adoption and things like that. So we are still happy, and we will keep improving it as long as people want us to. Another question: You are uh, a member of JSR uh, 372 expert group. Yeah which is the JSF 2.3 specification, yeah. and it is still in draft. In your opinion, what's the most important new features of this new version of JSF? Um, I think the, we have this uh, feature called Atmosphere Integration with PSocket, where you can do server-side push, uh, mainly with WebSockets, and then if, you, if the browser, if the environment, if the server doesn't support WebSockets, you can fall back to HTTP streaming and long polling. Uh, that's now standard called F socket. It's also uh, derived from the ideas from prime face and omni faces socket components, O socket there, P socket we yeah. have. And now it becomes st standard with F socket so that you can now do server side push. Uh, with web sockets, if the client side browser and server side, your server supports it. And also there's a multi field validation. Um, um, Today, I learned that there is a nice feature. Search expression framework in prime faces will also be standard because Thomas Andrashko, which my colleague from prime face team, also works on uh, is an uh, expert group. So he has supported with Leonardo from my faces. Uh, he's from, Leonardo is from Colombia. They have ported this search expression to JSF core. So you can have in screen right now, you only have at all, at none, at form, at this. Now you can just combine them with at parent, at child, and uh, you, you can just mix and match them. Uh, also, there's a support for flash injection using at inject, better CD integration, deprecation of managed beans. Uh, very nice improvements. Uh, very, I mean, the idea of spec is to standardize what the community innovates. So we have innovated, OmniFaces innovated a lot of things. So they are now becoming some. Mm -hmm. And do you know what is the forecast for releasing the JSF 2.3? Uh, I think it has aligned with Java 8, so probably next year. I'm mm -hmm. not sure about the date. I need to check, but next year. Well, in name of all Prime Face developers in Brazil, I would like to to <laughs> to thank you very much for this interview, for your time to talk with us, and congratulate your team and all prime face contributors for the great job. So do you yeah, have any final you. words for the community? 
Um, yeah, no, I mean, Brazil is very important for us. I mean, when we check the uh, Google Analytics, mm -hmm. uh, the most number of visitors and users are from Brazil. Uh, and they are just, they double the second, which is, I think, United States. I mean, it's so popular and we are really happy to, to send so many users in Brazil. Um, we have even decided to improve the Portuguese support, Brazilian Portuguese support and prime faces uh, and things like that to make sure everything is built in. <laughs> uh, and so thank you for being a part of our great community and thanks for your continuous feedback on improving prime faces. And uh, thank you for everything. Okay, really. thank you. Okay, I just talked with Chatai, the creator of Prime Face. Did you like this video? So please share this video with your friends. Uh, leave a comment below telling what you like the most in this video. And if you would like to learn more about Prime Face, I wrote an ebook. It is free. You can download the PDF. I will put the, the link maybe in the description or inside this video. I don't know yet, but you can download it for free. And thank you again, Chatai. Have a nice day. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Bye-bye.